Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. This is Nicole from Carbs and Cabernet. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you're at and whatever you're doing. If this is your first time at my channel, welcome. Um, this channel I talk different things about, you know, mom life, wife life, purses, and everything in between. And if you're coming back, welcome. So today, um, I thought it would be a great day to do a what's in my bag video with my Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the GM size. I also have the MM, which I'll compare the two in a later video. But, you know, we were out and about today. It's packed full of things, so I thought it would be fun to see what all is in here. So, uh, to start off, this is my Neverfull in the GM size with the Pavone interior, or Pivion. If I don't speak French, if you know the correct uh, enunciation of it leave it down in the comments below but um I love this bag this was actually a push present from my husband and uh, to signify you know us bringing our son into the world so this was my mom bag I thought it would be nice to not only have a mom bag but be able to feel glamorous while I'm toting around diapers so within without further ado it's in my bag so the first thing we have, I have a five month old and we're still nursing. So this is my nursing cover for her. I like it, it has a case that's somewhere. Um, this is a bib from Aiden and Anais, which I also, what I like about this bib also is it has a little clip right here. So it can also be a burp cloth and a bib, which comes in handy. Um, this is the Moisturized Total Moisture Facial Cream from Benefit. Now, I use their eyebrow pencil, too. I'm not much of a, you know, heavy makeup girl. You know, I put it on in the morning, and by the end of the day, whatever's left is left. But I will always carry moisturizer, so I like this a lot. I think I got this at Ulta. Next item is um, a lovey, my, my toddler loves pandas, cars, trains, and dinosaurs. So this is his. Let's see, next item in this endless bag, <laughs> or never full. This is my um, daughter's binky. We actually got this one from the hospital. She doesn't even really take a binky anymore, but she just likes to gnaw on it because she's teething. I love this lovey right here. My aunt brought it back from Ireland. It is from the company Bella Tuno. I love it because she can also have your scent on it and it keeps the baby a little more calm. Oh, what's next? Oh, I like these. So this is Victoria's Secret uh, Fragrance Mist and Fragrance Lotion in the flavor or scent, <laughs> Coconut Passion. My mother-in-law actually gave this to me and I like it because it's not super coconutty like you would with most things, but it is soft and it um, lasts pretty good. It's not too strong. I like it. It's not too strong with the babies too. Oh, this is a very important item. My son's EpiPen. As you guys know, he has a peanut allergy, so I have to carry this on and it has a nice little spot here in the back with um, a little film where I can put the prescription details so if someone has to have this in an emergency they know what to do with it my planner that I also did a review on you can um I'll link the planner review down below if you want to check it out but I love this planner I can plan everything from the beginning of my day to the end meal plan you know different goals I love this planner next item I need some more of this actually. This is hand sanitizer from the hospital. It smells horrible. It's extremely strong, but it gets the job done. Um, not much to this. Spectrum hand gel. Oh, I love these. So I've you know baby hand and face wipes. I use these on my children and I use them on myself. They are very, very gentle on the skin because you know I have a baby and I have a toddler. But they're also, um, they get all the gunk off. <laughs> Next item from Target. Uh, baby Bum hand sanitizer. I got this. It was on sale. It, um, 
I love the scent. I use it for my toddler because I can literally just spray it on his hands, tell him to rub, and he just keeps keeps moving. And it dries a little bit quicker than the other hand sanitizer. I'm pretty sure all moms have at least one or two toys in their purse. This my son loves trains, as I told you before. This is Thomas. You have to stay with snacks when you have a, a toddler. Uh, one thing I like about this is that it also has the fruits and the veggies mixed into it. This is Go Go Squeeze Petal Petal Peach. Okay. And it's uh, fruits and veggies on the go. So I like this because he'll down these and he gets his veggies and fruits in. And it's a nice little snack on the go. Brings me to another snack. Nature's Bakery Fig Bar. Got this at Sam's. I like it. It's pretty good. Um... Mostly my snacks are for the toddler, but these are pretty good. I like them. This is my zippy wallet. I like it. Um, it's your traditional long wallet. And I have the key pouch. One thing I noticed when people were um, talking about different Louis Vuitton uh, SLGs or small leather goods, if you're new to the brand, is um everyone says oh you have to get the key key six key holder i got it i hated it you know my fob would fit in but my other fob wouldn't for my other car and it was just a pain in the butt to have to you know open it flip the key out put it back in i did not like it i love the key clay a lot more so we have in here i do not know the name of this piece but inside of it i keep you know lip gloss, you know, ibuprofen, Tylenol, and hair ties. So if you, size-wise, if you know about the Louis Vuitton uh, Wapiti case, this is Coach's version. I like it, it's durable, and I've had it for so long, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> I don't think they make it anymore. So this little gem I got from a planner group that I went to, and... I think you're noticing the thing with the pandas here and the panda toy is kind of my thing but i like this because i can just take notes in it if you know jot them down it's just my notebook on the go in addition to my planner but i like the planner too because it also has a place for notes as well so with my toddler i don't really do a whole lot of screen time with him but if i do you know i can get everything on there his daniel tiger his dinosaur train anything you know for in a bind here's your screen Five minutes, okay, give it back. <laughs> Not really five minutes. Okay, so these are my favorite wipes, the Honest Company wipes, because I feel like other wipes either wipe or they just leave extra gunk on the baby. This one not only has the little grippers on it, so it takes care of all the extra stuff that might be in the diaper but it also doesn't leave a residue and does not sting their hands like i noticed with certain wipes you know would sting if you have like an open cut or something so i love those type of wipes um another notebook <laughs> i like these because they have the cute little inside on these are the kate spade uh pocket notepads I'm not sure if they still make these but if they do i will link it down below these are really cute i use them in nursing school to write all my labs down i bought them in bulk when they first came out so i'm not sure if they still make them this is my juicy couture perfume it's new my um my husband actually got this for me because i usually wear you know either prada candy which is a more you know light scent or my old lady scent chanel number no. five so he got me this one because um, it's a little bit in between and I like it. So this native coconut and vanilla deodorant was actually in my um, hospital bag when I had my second child. So um, a little bit later, I'll probably do, a, you know, what was in my hospital bag when going to the hospital to have a baby. If you're interested in that, you know, stay tuned. But this one I like because it's coconut and vanilla and it smells like a margarita. And I love margaritas. <laughs> I have a lot of tissue in here because we get, apparently we have very runny noses. A Dr. Grip gel pen. These have been out forever and they're the best pens. Whenever I have my scrubs, 
I always keep these hidden because someone will steal them. They're just that good. Um, Rihanna Fenty Beauty in the shade Uncuffed. I like it because you do one uh, swipe over and it's matte, but if you do another one, it has a kind of a glossy finish to it. It stays for hours. So I love anything Rihanna. Still waiting on that album though. So uh, this right here is the J.R. Watkins Shea Butter Hand Cream. I like it if my hands aren't already wet. Like if I've just washed my hands, I don't like putting this on. I like putting the other one on because it has this weird film that goes over it. Um, but over and all, it's, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good hand cream. I like it. We are almost to the bottom of this Neverfull. I think you guys are starting to see why it's called the Neverfull. So in here, I usually put my sunglasses in here, but these are some blue light filter glasses that I got off of Amazon. It was in um, my nurse's group gift exchange. We did this and so I, I got these, they're pretty cool. One thing I don't like though, is that since I do wear glasses, I can't really see that well out of these. So I wonder if I can get my prescription put into it or something. Which brings me to my actual sunglasses. These are the Alexis sunglasses from Kate Spade. Um, so I like them. They look pretty, pretty nice. They hide the bags under my eyes when it's been a long night with the kids and we have to get out and do things. But these are the Alexis sunglasses. If they still make them, I'll uh, link it down below. I got them around Christmas time. So we're almost through it. I have Puerto Rico keychain, which I like. It's, uh, my husband brought this back from his trip to Puerto Rico, so it's very special. I carry it with me everywhere. One of these cute little hair ties. I always have a hair tie either for myself or my son because we have a lot of hair. And these ones do not tangle. I want to say you can get these from anywhere. This one I got from Sephora, um, but you can get them at Target, wherever you get your hair supplies from. It's just a little bob thing. Another toy. <laughs> yeah. Have some chain in here. AirPods. I love these. I usually keep them in my key clay. And they just happen to get out of there. It's been a long day. Things migrate. And finally, one crayon. And since this is the Neo Never Full, I want to say the Neo Never Full, they started this in about 2014. Um, where you got the different interiors and you also got this little pouch. I love this one because it has the little, you know, clip here that can clip to the D-ring inside my bag. So basically inside this one real here, right here, I'll go through it pretty quick because it's not too interesting. But I have, you know, receipts, pens, uh, lady products. Oh, and a pen hand sanitizer, which I like. But when you open this one, and I'll go into more detail in my review, but you have a little extra uh, pocket right here. And then you have this big pocket, which I usually use for receipts or kind of a catch-all for your bag. And then guys, that is, minus a little bit of change, that is it. <laughs> So I hope this answered your question about um, what can fit in my bag for the Neverfull GM. And just for some size comparison, a little bit of extra, I have in the back here my Neverfull MM. And we'll see if I can get everything into the MM that was in the GM and what it'll kind of fit like to give you an idea of what fits. Um, if you're wondering about the bag charm, this is not Louis Vuitton, it is Amazon. So, okay, so my pouch. So um, since I got this this bag secondhand, or pre-loved as they like to say, I did not get it with the pouch. So I just used the pouch here. Always remember when you're buying stuff secondhand, get it authenticated, buy from a reputable source, and also know your bags too. So if you happen to get a purse, you can just tell by touching it if it's fake. So put the two things in here. I noticed with this bag, I kind of have to like Tetris it in because it's not as um, open. Tissues. 
shoe. It's getting pretty full and it feels a little heavy. And finally, the planner. So you can see what this looks like on top. It is very, very full. It's also called the Neverfull, but this does get full. The Neverfull GM carries it a lot better. The Neverfull MM, I mean, this would not even really fit over my shoulder that well. I hope this video is very helpful for you um, to be able to see what fits in the GM versus what fits in the MM and a little bit of what's in my bag. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and until next time, may your wine be stronger than your kids. Bye.